We're minutes away from the Strike Force debut of Fedor Amelianenko. Fedor is a unique fighter with the rare ability to fight just as well on his back as he does standing. He is considered to be the one fighter in the world with no flaws. Power puncher with movement, also possessing slick and explosive submissions. Some have labeled Brett Rogers as a long shot, but with an unblemished 10-0 record, 10 KOs as well, the odds makers may be scratching their heads. They're saying that Rogers has a puncher's chance. Well, folks, he is a puncher. Coming up, Fedor, Brett Rogers after this. Sellout crowd at the Sears Center outside of Chicago, and this is the moment we've all been waiting for, the main event on Saturday Night Fights. When the fight starts, I look for that moment I can take advantage of. Oh, I definitely got the power. If he could take my heat, it's gonna surprise me. Welcome back to the Sears Center. We're ready for our main event. Fedor Emelianenko taking on Brett the Grim Rogers and the tail of the tape. Tail of the tape here is all about height, weight, and reach. Rogers is a literal giant. Can Fedor kill the giant? And the tail of the tape brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. So we're ready for our main event. Let's go inside the cage to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sears Center Arena as Strikeforce and CBS in association with M1 Global as sponsored by Rockstar Energy Drink present the Saturday Night Fights main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in a heavyweight special attraction. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and MMA fans joining us around the world, Live from Chicago, it's showtime! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Undefeated in his campaign with a record of 10 wins and no losses. Tonight, looking to make his mark in MMA history, please welcome the top-ranked heavyweight, the undefeated big-time striker, Brett. The Grim Rogers! And his opponent in the red corner, really needing no introduction to MMA fans across the globe. His record, 30 wins, one loss, one no contest. Please welcome the former Pride champion, widely recognized as an icon of Russian sports, Heavyweight champion, the revered, the respected, the one and only Fedor Amelianenko. Our referee in charge now to give instructions, Big John McCarthy. Step over here. Let's go. Gentlemen, went over the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Step back to your corners. Let's go. So here we go, folks. The main event, Fedor Emelianenko, a legend in his home country of Russia. Taking on Brett Rogers. This is what he's been waiting for, dreaming about. Dating back to when he was changing tires, Fedor, so revered that former Russian president and current prime minister Vladimir Putin has attended his fights. Here we go. Saturday night fights ready? on CBS. Let's get it on. And we're underway. Big time fight atmosphere in Chicago. The reaction that Fedor Emelianenko received was thunderous. Emelianenko and Rogers showing respect. Rogers looking uncharacteristically jittery. 
And he's waiting to punch, and it might be a problem. He needs to punch first. Wild left hand by Fatal. That jab of Rogers landed, though. Rogers stepping off now. Wants to keep this fight on his feet. As long as Rogers punches straight, as long as Rogers punches first, he should meet Fader at the end of his fist. He's Fader is well not already bleeding. Yeah. That first jab that he threw, it hit him right in the eye, right in the nose area. Cut it. Look at those feet. There it is again. Fedor. Fedor. Rogers scrambling to get up. The Fedor and he does. Rogers showing that strength. A lot of blood coming out of the nose of Fedor Emelianenko early on. A lot of fighters say they're in the best shape of their lives before a fight. When it comes to Brett Rogers, I truly believe it. He has never looked physically better. And look how Fedor's nose is opened up with a jab. Yeah. He has tasted the power of Rogers early. Let go of the fence. Let go of the fence. Get your fingers out of there. Emelianenko has been cut in fights before and come back to win in spectacular fashion. And guys, we talked about Rogers having to win this they fight fence, ugly and here. dirty. He has to sap a million ankle strength. He's doing the right thing right now. Doing it. He's laying on him in the cage. This is what we talked about. There's problems with the cage. Fedor's never been in it. He doesn't know what to do. Wow, he's Fedor's nose. It may be cut as well. It looks oh, like it's broken. And breathing will now become a problem for the last emperor. Look at Fedor breathing out of his mouth. He's chopping the legs out. Dirty boxing was worked on by Brent Rogers. Now Rogers may have confidence as he steps off again. You know, they, himself. they say Fedor has the Tyson effect. Rogers is not intimidated in the least. Fedor breathing out of his nose. Here 
Now we got to start and have it all the way down. A straight jab beats a looping punch. It crushed the nose of Fedor, and blood started coming out immediately. He was in range and ready to strike. Fedor had a big answer. That was that overhand right and left hook combo. How did Rogers stay up, especially when Fedor came in to finish him? Body, body, shucking the arm up. This is where Fedor was so dangerous. And ground action from the ref cam. Big shots coming here from Rogers. He sees it, he smells it. I've never seen Fedor hit like this. We've got a fight, folks. Brett Rogers learned something about himself in that first round, and Fedor learned about Rogers. Round two. Brett Rogers, the first fighter to go into the second round against Fedor since October of 2006. That night, the aforementioned Mark Coleman was armbarred early in round two. Rogers relaxed, steps back. Wild left hook by Emelianenko. Emelianenko, the aggressor, since the beginning. Brett's working that jab and working that range very well. The chance of Fedor now being drowned out by the chance of USA. Fedor came in with punches and went right to the hip for the takedown. Rogers is so strong, he just bumped him right off. In between rounds, Dr. Bruce Hurst told us he believed Fedor's nose is broken. Now, Emelianenko, wild punches all being blocked by Rogers. Rogers are blocking him. Rogers attacking now. Gets the underhooks on the cage. Don't hold the fence. With each and every scintillating second, Rogers continues to earn the respect of the man many believe is the greatest mixed martial artist ever. Six to one odds, favoring Fedor Emelianenko. And Brent Rogers told us even when he was changing tires, he knew that one day he'd get the chance to expose the world to his talents. He knew he'd get the chance to change the fortunes of his family forever. For this 28-year-old former project kid from the Cabrini Green. Rogers had the right plan. He was working the game. But bam! Fedor literally jumped into that punch and it connected right on the chin of Rogers. Jumped on him and finished him up. This is why he is so dangerous. One punch, the entire fight can change. And that stand up was all about range and timing. And we said that Rogers had to punch first. He had to punch first. He waited for a second there. He waited one second. Fedor came over the top, clipped him, and it jumped right on him for the finish. Final look at it. This is going to show you where it hits right on his chin. Here comes the punch. It's too late. Clean shot. Fedor was literally jumping into the punch. Milianenko's eighth win via form of knockout. The last being Andre Orlovsky. Power and precision of this man is extraordinary.
Here once again is Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 48 seconds.